Hey everybody, Carl here, and it's time to take a look at the new comics out the week of Wednesday, December 23rd. First up, we've got Action Comics number 1028, the last issue before we get into Future's End starting up in January. Up next, we have the penultimate issue of the Last Remains storyline from Amazing Spider-Man. This is issue 54.LR, or point .LR, or however you'd like to pronounce it. Back to DC, we've got the final issue of Batman Beyond, number 50, rounding it out with a nice big round number. Continuing with the Batman theme, we've got Batman Superman, number 15. And continuing with DC, a nice little run of them all in the same uh, general alphabetical category, we've got the Black Adam Endless Winter Special, part 8 of the big crossover storyline. Speaking of big crossovers, or I guess big events, Dark Knight's Death Metal, The Secret Origin one-shot. Heading over to Image, we've got the extremely popular Department of Truth, issue number four. But still keeping with the general DC theme, because it's written by James Tynan IV, who's in charge of DC's Batman stuff, both now and uh, I guess taking a more general overseer role in the, uh, the wake of uh, Future State once those books start coming out in March. And again, back to Batman, we've got Detective Comics number 1033. Heading over to the other of the big two, from Marvel, we've got Doctor Doom number 10. Next up, from Boom Studios, we've got Dune House Atreides number 3. I've got to say, I am really looking forward to this movie. Denis Villeneuve's direction is phenomenal. I've loved everything else I've seen from him, and I am really excited for Dune. No matter how it ends up uh, getting brought to the public, whether it's you know, on the big screen or if I have to stream it on the small screen, I cannot wait for this movie. From Marvel, we've got Excalibur number 16. Back to Boom, a Firefly event, Blue Sun Rising number 1. Heading over to IDW, we've got G.I. Joe Real American Hero number 277. Over at Image, we've got Gideon Falls, number 27. As well as Iceman, sorry, Ice Cream Man. Iceman would be Marvel, my bad. <laughs> Ice Cream Man, number 22. A little confusing because they went for the whole advent calendar thing, and 25 is the big, you know, central number up top there, but this is actually number 22. Adjust your collections accordingly. Back to DC, we got another part of the Endless Winter. This one taking place before the Black Adam one I brought up earlier. It's Justice League Dark number 29. Back over to Image, we've got Philadelphia number 11. And a stunning cover there. Another big event this week, we've got King in Black number 2. And uh, this has gotten so popular, people are loving this storyline. We actually pre-sold out of our main cover on the book. But not to worry, I do have more coming in, and they'll be arriving later on this week. But in the meantime, enjoy this gorgeous tattoo cover by Betterman. Keeping with the King theme, we've got a king size issue of Conan. And then we've got the Goblin King in Labyrinth Masquerade. I love this cover. Jen Bartel's artwork is always gorgeous, and that is a wonderful rendition of David Bowie's Goblin King. Next up, we've got Last God, number 11. Over to Marvel, we've got Maestro, number 5. Sounds like it should be a earwormy, catchy tune from the late 90s, early aughts. Over at Dynamite, Mars Attacks Red Sonia, issue number 5. From Marvel, we have Marvel. Oh, that's a little awkward. And I believe that's issue number 3. Yep, issue number 3. <laughs> Love when they hide those on the back. Still, doesn't take away from the gorgeous cover, so can't get too angry with them. From Image, we've got Oblivion Song, number 29. A lot of really stunning covers this week. Keeping with Robert Kirkman, we've got Outcast, number 47. Back over to DC, we've got Red Hood, number 52. From Oni Press, we've got Rick and Morty Ever After, number three. Over at IEW, we've got Sea of Sorrows, number two. 
For fans of Speedy Hedgehogs, we got Sonic the Hedgehog Bad Guys number four, which I believe is the final issue of this miniseries. McFarlane fans, we've got some spawn for you. Issue number 313 out today, or this week, I should say. With a King in Black tie-in, we've got Spider-Woman number seven. Over at IDW with the all-ages Star Wars stuff, we've got Star Wars Adventures Smuggler's Run. And then for something a bit more PG-13, over at Marvel, we've got Star Wars Bounty Hunters number eight. Back to IDW. Great Scott, it's Transformers meets Back to the Future, issue number two. Back to Image, we've got Undiscovered Country, number 11. From Marvel, we've got U.S. Agent, number two. DC brings us Wonder Woman, number 769. Nice. Over at Valiant, we've got XO Man War, number three. And wrapping up this week, we've got You Look Like Death, Tales from the Umbrella Academy, number four. So... That's what we've uh, got on the shelves this week. Uh, feel free to pop on by, get some uh, books before you have a nice long weekend, a nice long vacation for Christmas. Uh, as always, uh, we'd love to see you down here. Make sure you wear a mask and stay safe. If you'd like to catch some more content, follow us over on our Twitch, Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash toywizstore. On Tuesday, January 5th at 8 p.m., I'm going to be doing a presentation about DC's upcoming future state, uh, how we got to this point, what future state is, and what we can expect afterwards. So, uh, yeah, I will see you there, hopefully. Take care now. Happy holidays.